Hi guys, welcome back to Adventure Times. And we done a live last night where we kind of delved into the new changes for ride access. Um, in that live, people requested that we made a video about it, so here I am to make that video for you. Um, so yesterday, Merlin confirmed that there were going to be new changes to the ride access system across all parks um, and across all of Merlin. Um, I'm not sure if it's everywhere or if it's just the UK. I'm pretty sure it's just the UK. Um, they basically they confirmed that there is now going to be a daily limit as to how many ride access users can use the system in a day. So, because of this, ride access users are now going to have to pre-book a ride access slot. Um, I'm not sure how to do this yet. I think once um. So to do this, once the system goes live, you'll be able to use one of the QR codes that are within the uh, video. I'll link the video below. Uh, you'll be able to use one of those to go onto the booking system. You will have um, three pre-books per attraction at any one time. So you could have three for Thorpe Park, three for Wharton Towers, three for Chessington and three for Legoland, all on your booking system. Once you've used one, for that park you can then book another one um this system is completely separate to the normal um pass holder pre-book so it's two different booking systems what they want you to do is pre-book your ride access first and then go and book your annual pass holder one um sorry i'm just looking at my notes um this this goes into play comes into play from the 2nd of march um so if you have any bookings before that so like for pirate takeover or legoland brick week you don't need to worry about this system it's still the old system up until the 2nd of march um you it, if you do a spontaneous trip though this is a lot a, a few things that i've seen as well everyone's worrying about if they go on the day uh, if you decide to do a spontaneous trip and go on the day, you will still be able to book if there's availability. Um, so it's not like you have to pre-book in advance. Um, the only time where you need to worry about doing it more than on the day is if you are new to ride access and you actually need to reapply for the, the ride access physical card. I'll show you the back of mine. I'm not going to show you the front obviously if you need to get this then it's seven days in advance because it needs to go through uh, the access card um so this is just i can cover up my details actually so this is if you're applying for this um then this is seven days in advance or if you've already got the access card if you already hold one so let me show you again i'll just cover my details if you already hold an access card, then all you have to do is go onto the Ride Access website and it will say link my access card. Click on that, pop in your details and then it will give you your Ride Access straight away. So almost that's almost in a day as well if you already own one. Um, that's the only in advance stuff. Um, we They did confirm yesterday that in terms of cancelling a pre-book it will be it should be fairly simple you should be able to go on hit cancel and do it that way same as our pass holder pre-books um the last little detail that i wanted to add is they have confirmed that they don't expect the pre-books to fill up on non-peak days so if you're going and it's just a weekday or it's not normally a busy time, they don't think the pre-books will be an issue. Um, however, they have said that on peak days, that's when it will become a bit of an issue. So your things like your Friday nights, your scare fests, um, your, your opening days, those sorts of things, the things where everyone's like, you know, the peak days. So as of right now, that's all the information I have. That's all the information that I know. If you have any questions, pop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them or I'll do my best to find an answer for you. 
it's not an I in my opinion it's not an ideal answer however I can see why they've done it I can understand why they've done it um I am a bit concerned that it's going to alienate some people um but time will tell so yeah that's that's look forward to the 2024 season and um like i say if you have any questions any comments any concerns pop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer what we can so thanks for watching if, if you like the content and if you like what you see feel free to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye